Today I'm going to show you how to take your ordinary remote control and make it work through walls and floors. Your standard remote control uses infrared light to send information to your receiver. Any obstruction between the remote and the device is going to block the signal. We're going to be using a remote extender from Next Generation Home Products to convert the infrared, or IR, into a radio frequency. Unlike infrared, radio frequency, or IR, can travel through walls and floors and at a much greater distance. Next, I'm going to show you how to hook it up. Before hooking up the remote extender, you'll need to charge the batteries. This kit comes with two rechargeable batteries. The charger is in the bottom of the RF receiver. The small slot is for the rechargeable battery. The larger slot fits the battery and transmitter combined. Once you've let the batteries charge for at least 24 hours, insert the battery into the transmitter, positive end first. Next, remove one of the batteries from your remote control and replace it with the transmitter. For remotes that work off of AA batteries, slide the adapter sleeve over the transmitter. Next, locate the IR sensor on the front of your receiver. This is indicated by a red or dark purple window on the front. There are two different ways you can hook up this remote extender. You can simply place the RF receiver in front of the IR sensor on the device you want to control, or you can hook up the emitter cables. These plug into the RF receiver. The emitter has an adhesive tape that enables you to stick it directly on the IR sensor. In a setup where you're controlling more than one device, you can purchase a dual head emitter. Each emitter goes over an IR sensor and connects to one cable that plugs in the RF receiver. With this expansion block from Channel Plus, you can control up to eight devices with your remote extender. If you want to add another remote to your system, you'll have to purchase an additional transmitter. In a setup where you're controlling more than one device of the same model, you'll need two separate remote extenders. One's for the 418 frequency and the other for 433. That way they don't interfere with each other. The function of a remote extender is really limited to how far it can operate. Most generic cone and pyramid type extenders are limited to about 40 feet. Now that's pretty disappointing if you want to be able to control this from every room of your house. That's why I decided to put Next Generation's Remote Extender to the test. I hooked it up to a room on the second floor. Using this rolling measuring stick, I was able to measure exactly how far I can get it to operate. Let's see what happens. 100 feet, the remote extender lived up to its reputation, consistently turning a TV on and off. As I measure, the remote extender continued to work at 150 feet away, which was pretty impressive. I finally moved out of operating range at just over 185 feet. As you can see, this product has an incredible range. It works through walls, floors, cabinets, on multiple remotes with multiple devices in just about any room of the house. 